Hello, it's Gary Gibbons, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to make pad presets when using short grains. Let's have a look at the default settings in the granular oscillator. The first parameter that I'm going to have a look at is called the duration parameter. When using a very short duration value, it is called short grains. Currently, the value is set to 1, so when C3 is played, we are hearing one single stream of grain. Now if I change the duration value to a setting of 2, the pitch drops by one octave because the grain duration is now twice as long. And if this value is increased, the pitch of the sound is determined by the pitch of the original sample. Next, I'm going to go to the Select Sample icon, and in the PadShop 02 Waveforms subfolder, I'm going to load the sample called Detuned Pulse. I can see here in the Waveform display window that the sample has loaded. Next, I want to go to the position parameter and change the value from 0 to 50%. Now, the sample start time position is in the middle of the sample. We can tell that the position sample start time location has changed since the white line on the waveform display window is here. There are three ways to change the position location. First, I can type a value here. Second, I can move the parameter value with my pointer. And the third way is to move my pointer over top of the waveform display window at the location that I desire, like this. I'm going to change the position value back to 50%. Now I'm going to go to the format parameter and change the values while playing C3. By changing these format values, I can scan the spectrum so I can achieve different textures. Now I'm going to go to the length parameter and decrease the value. When using short grains, this parameter also sounds like it is changing the spectrum by changing the stream length. Now I'm going to go to the number of grains parameter here. We currently are streaming one grain, so I'm going to increase the amount to two, then play C3. Now the pitch is an octave higher. The reason it sounds like this, the two grains are playing over top of each other. So if I go to the position spread parameter and spread out those two grains by 50%, it sounds like this. If we have a look at the waveform display window when I'm playing the note, I can see that the grain streams are located here and here. Now if I change the position channel offset value from 0 to 25%, I can see that I have four small portions of the sample being played. Now that we are using more than one grain, let's have a look at the pitch spread parameter. And it is located here. And if we change the value of this parameter, it sounds like we're changing the spectrum as well. But this result can only be achieved when we're using short grains. Okay, now I'm going to move back to the number of grains parameter and change the value from 2 to 1. On the waveform display window, I can see that the position channel offset is still spreading the one stream because the position channel offset is still set to 25%.
Now when I increase the number of grains to 3 and play C3, I can see that the three grain streams are offset like this. And when the number of grains increase, the waveform display window shows the grain streams increasing. I want to mention that when the number of grains increase, the volume increases as well. Okay? So now I'm going to put the number of grains back to 2 and show you how to make a basic pad preset. I'm going to go to the amp envelope section and change the attack time to 2000 milliseconds so the pad sound fades in when we play. Okay, so it sounds like this now. I'm going to go to the modulation source and add velocity. Then I'm going to go to the modulation destination and add amp attack. Now I'm going to change the modulation depth value to minus 25. Depending on what you want to achieve, you can change this value to your liking. For example, if you want the preset to play instantly, when the velocity is at its maximum amount, you can change the value to minus 100. Okay, I'm going to move the value back to minus 25 and go back to the amp envelope and change the release time to 3000 milliseconds. Now I'm going to go to the cutoff parameter and change the value to 2000 Hz. It sounds like this now. Next, I'm going to go to the matrix and under modulation source, I'm going to add velocity, then under the modulation destination, I'm going to add cutoff. Then I'm going to change the modulation depth value to 50. Now when I play at different velocities, the cutoff values change. Next, I'm going to add some vibrato to our pad sound. So, to achieve this, I'm going to go to the LFO1 and drag the drag icon to the pitch section here. Now in column 3 of the matrix is LFO1, and under destination is pitch. To change the amount of the pitch, I'm going to change the modulation depth value to 0.41. I'm going to go back to the LFO1 parameter and change the rate value to 5.00 Hz. Okay, so now the rate has increased. I'm going to slow the rate down a bit and change the value to 4.6 Hz. Okay, so now I want this vibrato to only happen when the mod wheel is activated. So I'm going to go to the modifier on column three and add mod wheel. Now when the mod wheel is not activated, there is no vibrato. 
Then when I activate the mod wheel, I can hear the vibrato. Now I'm going to go to the Show Layer A FX page and turn on the Modulation FX button here. Since the default setting is set to Chorus, I'm going to only change the Rate and Depth values. I'm going to change the Rate to 0.21 Hz and the Depth to 31%. Now I'm going to make the sound bigger by turning on the delay and going to the Select Preset icon here. And I'm going to load the preset called Slow Fade Away. Now I'm going to change the mix value to 12.5, then go back to the Show Layer A Synth page. Now I can tweak my settings to my liking by changing the format or length parameters, as well as the location of the sample that I want to be played. After I find the sound that I want to use, all I have to do is save my preset. Well, that is how you can make a pad preset by using short grains. If you have enjoyed this tutorial and you want to learn more, subscribe to our channel. Take care. Cheers. Cheers.